We reported at this year's uh, 2013 HRS meeting our initial experience using the second generation cryo-balloon and we did compare this uh, procedural data against a series of uh, using the first generation cryo-balloon and these were consecutive patients so therefore any um, uh, concerns about learning curve uh, needs or are basically excluded. And uh, what we observed uh, was um, a statistically highly, statistically significant decrease of all procedure parameters. So procedure time came down to roughly 98 minutes in mean. Uh, fluoroscopy time came down from 19.5 down to 13 minutes. Um, all other parameters uh, which we uh, took during the procedure uh, very, very much in favor of the second generation cryo balloon. And um, this is um, actually, that was the motivation to share our experience from, let's say, a long-term European user center, and uh, that's why we brought it up here at HRS. Uh, we also uh, counted, basically, all the different, uh, let's say, um, special techniques. And what we observed is a much lower need for fancy maneuvers, such as maybe the big loop maneuver or uh, the need for um, doing um, uh, uh, a, a crosstalk maneuver. Um, so this again, from my perspective, emphasizes again uh, the improved cooling capabilities uh, for the second generation cryo balloon. We ha received so far 100% acute permanent isolation rate uh, using uh, so the second generation cryo balloon. However, we noted um, that we had an increase in the rate of single shot so first time application isolation rate of using the second generation balloon, which is now roughly 75%.